Welcome to Black Children's Books Read Aloud. Hi friends, I am Mrs. 3D. I'm so glad you can join me. Today, we have the pleasure of reading Oh, the Things I Can Be When I See Me, written by Valerie J. Coleman. Let's join Samara and Lyric as they learn about some amazing women who have done things that they hope to do one day. Make sure you grab your copy if you have it. Get ready to read with me in three, two, one. Oh, the things I can be when I see me. Written by Valerie J. Lewis Coleman. Samara and Lyric are cousins. They love to visit their grandmother, Mimi. I'm so glad you are here, Mimi said while hugging her grandbabies. What do you want to do first? Paint! Samara jumped three times. Mimi laughed. Okay, Samara, let's paint. She took Lyric by the hand. Samara said, Mimi, I love creativity because I can make what I see in my mind. That's visual art. You can tell a story using photos like Lorna Simpson, sculptures like Simone Lee, or quilts like Faith Ringgold. Artists like Zora Neale Hurston, Maya Phenomenal Angelou, woman. and Vanessa Miller Pierce wrote books, plays, and movie scripts. Lyric said, my favorite colors are orange, blue, and green. She looked up from her artwork. Do you like it, Mimi? Yes, such beautiful masterpieces. Let's get you cleaned up while your paintings dry. Since you two love to perform, you can be artists who dance, sing, or play instruments. Katherine Dunham formed one of the first Negro ballet companies in America. She toured the world and danced in several movies. Samara said, did you dance with her? Mimi laughed, no baby. She opened the school in 1930, long before Mimi was born. She rubbed Samara's back. You saw Disney's The Nutcracker and The Four Realms, right? Samara nodded. The ballerina Misty Copeland is the first black female principal dancer for the American Ballet Theater. Lyric said, Mimi, look at me, I'm a ballerina. Do it, baby. Lyric stumbled. Mimi helped her balance. Let's sing for a while. This art form has many great examples. Nina Simone sang black classical music. Leotine Price sang opera and Minnie Rippleton. Mimi, I haven't heard their songs. Probably not, Samar. What about Mariah Carey, Jennifer Hudson, or Tanya Baker? Yes, I would do it all like Zendaya. She dances, sings, and acts. They sang, Oh, the things I can be when I see me. Lyric picked up her toy guitar and put on her fancy glasses. Mimi said, Lyric, a musician is another type of performing artist. Sister Rosetta Tharp made her career as a gospel guitarist. She played with Cab Calloway at Harlem's Cotton Club. Samara plinked her piano and sang Lost Boy. Mimi laughed. So you want to sing and play like Ruth B? Yes, ma'am. I love it. With enough practice, you can do two piano performances like Hazel Scott and Alicia Keys. She looked at the clock. It's time to meet your cousin at the park. Let's get out of those tutus. The family walked to the park to meet Mimi's other granddaughter, whose nickname is Yaya. Mimi said, Samar, do you still want to be a gymnast? Yes, ma'am. Then let me see what you've got. Yaya walked toward Mimi. She hugged her grandmother and then played with her cousins. Samara said, I'm Simone Biles. Yaya said, I'm Gabby Douglas. You ladies still have plenty of energy. How about a race? Samara and Yaya said, yeah. Give Lyric a head start. Mimi helped Lyric. Did you know I ran track in high school? You want to race with us? Yaya asked. No thanks, Mimi smiled. My classmate, Lavana martin Florill won a silver medal in the 1992 Olympics. Wow, she's fast, Samara said as she ready to race. She sure was. She outran everyone in school. 
She wanted you to know that being a winner means working hard and having fun. Really? Uh-huh. In the 1960 Olympics, Wilma Rudolph won three gold medals and broke several world records. Yaya said, did you race her? Mimi shook her head. Serena Williams is an amazing athlete too. She's been the number one tennis player in the world several times. Althea Gibson helped make that possible as the first great African-American player in women's tennis. Samara said, who's your favorite soccer player? Lyric said, Sharice. Mimi smiled, your cousin counts. She's my favorite too. Mimi looked toward the parking lot. Yaya's mother is here. Give her hugs and kisses. The family walked home to prepare for bed. Good morning, Mimi kissed her grandbabies. Good morning, Mimi. Yesterday, you were artists, dancers, and athletes. What do you want to be today? Lyric rubbed her eyes. I want to be an actress. Samara stretched. I want to direct. Mimi said, what's your favorite movie? The girl shouted, Black Panther! As an actress, you can be a queen like Angela Bassett, a scientist like Letitia Wright, or a secret agent like Lupita Nyong'o. Lyric struck a pose. Samara grabbed her tablet and scene. Ava DuVernay directs movies with people who look like you, including A Wrinkle in Time. Samara said, Mimi, who is your favorite actress? Hmm. My favorite actors are Denzel Washington and Bryant Lewis Bentley. But actress? Mimi tapped her chin. Cicely Tyson, Regina King, Tracy Ellis Ross, and the little girl from Blackish, Marseille Martin. Why Marseille? She is the youngest producer in Hollywood at 14 years old. Michelle Obama appeared on the TV screen. Mimi said, Samara, what can you tell me about Michelle Obama? She was the first lady of the United States for eight years. Very good. Did you know that she went to two Ivy League schools and was an amazing attorney before she lived in the White House? No, ma'am. What do attorneys do? Judges and attorneys <coughs> make sure everyone is treated fairly. Judges Lynn Toler and Faith Jenkins have TV shows helping people solve tough problems. Do you know any real attorneys? All of them are real. Are you asking if I personally know some? Yes, ma'am. Your auntie Dina and cousin Aisha are both attorneys. Maybe you can spend a day with them at work to learn how they help people. I'd like that. Samar, what's your favorite subject in school? Reading. Lyric said, I love reading too. You can learn so much reading. Mimi learned how to be an engineer by reading and loving math. You can be a scientist, inventor, or mathematician. Dr. Gladys West was the woman behind GPS technology. Samara shrugged. You know, recalculating route. Recalculating. Samara smiled. I want to invent an app for girls. Absolutely. Judy Jordan Brunson, Mimi's college friend, is a top executive in the automotive industry. She has several patents for her inventions. Ray Montague was an engineer who designed ships for the U.S. Navy. And Katherine Johnson used math to get the astronauts to the moon. Taraji P. Henson did a great job acting as Ms. Johnson in Hidden Figures. Lyric said, Mimi, I want to be an astronaut on the moon. You can do it. Dr. Mae Jemison was the first African-American woman in space. She loved school so much that she has degrees in chemical engineering, Afro-American studies, and medicine. Wow! Samara's eyes opened wide. And she speaks several languages. How many languages can you speak, Samara? I know Spanish and little brother. Sean has his own language. You're funny. Lyric held up three fingers. Uno, dos, tres. Very good, Lyric. Mimi nodded and smiled. Do you still want to be a baby doctor? No, I want to be a dog doctor. You can be whatever kind of doctor you want. 
Dr. Danielle Spencer was a child actress on the TV show What's Happening. She became a veterinarian taking care of animals. Dr. Tanisha Richmond is a foot doctor and Dr. Rosalind Jackson is a medical doctor for women. She delivers babies and helps Mimi feel better. Mimi, does your pomic hurt? Lyric said, rubbing Mimi's stomach. I'm fine, precious. She kissed Lyric on the top of her head. Mimi's friend, Karen Townsend, is also a doctor. She doesn't have patients. She has clients who hire her to show them how to work together. Samara put on one of Mimi's dresses. Mimi said, What are you doing? I'm Madam C.J. Walker. What do you know about her? She was the first African-American woman to become a self-made millionaire. Okay, Samar, you're so smart. Madam C.J. Walker made her fortune helping us take care of our hair. My mommy takes care of my hair, Lyric said, tugging at her afro puff. Yes, she does, Mimi hugged Lyric. An entrepreneur owns their own company. Samar said, like you. Yes, baby. People hire your Mimi to write, publish, and market best-selling books. Danielle Gervais Harmon coaches businesswomen, and Lynette Calfani Cox helps people with their money. My friend, Linda J. Hawkins, shows women how to eat and live healthy. Can you think of any other businesswomen? Samara said, Oprah Winfrey, and my mom. Very good, Mimi smiled. Michaela Omer owns B Sweet Lemonade, and Aliana Hines was nine years old when she started buying and selling houses. I can be a business owner now? Absolutely. Anything you love to do and do well can be your business. Mimi, can we play outside? Lyric asked, pulling Mimi's robe. Yes, baby, let's get your play clothes. Lyric crawled on the ground. I want to be a police officer and a firefighter. It makes me happy to know that you want to help people. Annette Nance Holt is the first woman to be deputy fire commissioner in Chicago. She is responsible for the safety of millions of people. Guess what? Lyric stopped playing. What? She asked me to tell you, never give up and don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Lyric smiled. Sparky said, Get low and go. You smell like outside. Let's freshen up before lunch. Mimi and her babies went in the kitchen. Mimi said, Samara, what's your favorite food? Mimi's mac and cheese and cabbage. She paused. And sushi. Oh, thank you, baby. I got the recipes from my mom, Mima. She kissed Samara's cheek. Lyric, what foods do you like? Pupcakes! Pupcakes it is, my love. Chef Avenel James would be pleased to know you like pastries. Yummy. Samara said, Mimi, who's your favorite chef? Good question. I like several chefs because they use their talents to help others. Elle Simone Scott uses her skills to teach women how to cook. Samantha Davis and Terza Love focus on healthy lifestyles with food. That's important, Samara said as she stirred the batter. Yes, it is. Aisha Curry works to make sure kids have food to eat. I've been to Sylvia Woods' restaurant in Harlem several times. The food was great and so was the band. Can we go to her restaurant? We sure can. Until then, your parents can buy some of her food in the grocery store. After eating the yummy cupcakes, Mimi said, Your fathers will be here soon. Do you have anything else you want to be? Samara said, I want to be a teacher so I can help students learn. She ran into the family room to get ready for class. Mimi and Lyric joined her. Mimi said, who are your students? Adeline, Lexi, Jade, and Noah. Mimi smiled. It's Lyric's turn to teach. Lyric said, I am Miss Sonia. Mimi, you are Miss Pie. Yes, ma'am. And who are your students? Carter, Ashley, Samaria, Josiah, Olivia, 
Madison, and Grace. Looks like we need to get more toys. I mean students. Lyric said, Mimi, I want to be an archaeologist. What do you know about archaeologists? Miss Pie told me they find dinosaur bones. That's a big word for such a little girl. Good for you. When you find a new dinosaur, you can name it Lyricosaurus. Lyric smiled. The doorbell chimed. Okay, Mimi's princesses, your fathers are here. The girls hugged and kissed their grandmother. Let me see your princess wave. Wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow. The girl sang, Oh, the things I can be when I see me. When I see me. Wow, this book was filled with so many trailblazing women. Can you imagine the confidence that Lyric and Samara have now? What do you want to be when you grow up? I really hope you enjoyed today's book and will join me next week. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. But most importantly, please support the author by purchasing their book. Until next time.